So I saw a portrait of a lady on fire and it was fantastic. I was planning to see this last weekend, but the coronavirus happened and the only theater showing it closed because of the virus. And I was going to watch it online, but I was busy playing Red Dead Redemption 2. But then I went to Hulu and just happened to see it was on there, so I watched it later that night. And I wanted to see it again before reviewing it, so I saw it the next morning. And I would have gotten this review out earlier, but I was busy playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Portrait of a Lady on Fire is about a painter named Marianne, I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right, who was hired to paint the wedding portrait of a woman named Heloise. Again, hope I'm pronouncing that right. But the thing is, Heloise doesn't want to be married, so Marianne has to paint her in secret and memorize her facial features. However, they start to get closer to each other over the course of the movie. But this was the 1700s, so this wasn't quite allowed back then. Portrait of a Lady on Fire is ravishing. It's a masterpiece. It says so on the poster, and posters never lie. But seriously, this is a fantastic movie. This is my favorite movie of 2020 so far. If you want to get technical, you could say this is a 2019 release, but that's when it was released in France and certain film festivals, but it didn't get its wide American release until February of 2020, so I'm counting it as a 2020 release. The movie looks fantastic. I heard it was shot in 8K to bring out as much color as possible to look more like a painting. That is fitting. And honestly, I'm jealous of people who got to see this in theaters because watching this on a big screen would have looked beautiful rather than just watching it on a TV. One thing I noticed is that outside of like three scenes, there is no music throughout the movie. I guess it wouldn't matter to me much because I never remember musical scores anyway. There's literally one scene that reminded me of Dumb and Dumber. When Heloise's dress caught fire at the bonfire, I was expecting her to say, Blank. For God's sake, just give me the damn number! But she didn't, sadly. God, just imagine Dumb and Dumber if it was a forbidden romance art film. Both actresses, whose names I'm not going to try to pronounce, are fantastic here. The movie is very slow, but I'm sure that might be intentional. There is some stuff I don't quite get, like the stuff with Orpheus and Eurydice or Heloise's wedding dress, but I think that's more of a problem with me than it is with the movie, because I was never good at understanding metaphors. Overall, Portrait of a Lady on Fire is a ravishing masterpiece and we're going back to that again. As I said, this is my favorite movie of 2020 so far, and I don't expect much else to beat it. The only movies I think might have a chance of beating it are Tenet, The French Dispatch, and Last Night in Soho. But I don't know if those are coming out this year because of the virus. So I guess this might just stay as my favorite of the year. And I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10. Only thing holding it back is some of the stuff I don't understand. But I might change it to a 10 later. It's on Hulu. Go watch it. Thanks for watching. If you've seen Portrait of a Lady on Fire, tell me what you thought. And the next video might be a review of Onward after it comes to Disney Plus or the Game of Thrones video. But I'm thinking it'll be the Onward video, so stay tuned for that while I play some more Red Dead Redemption 2.